It looks like Travis Scott wanted to keep up with his baby mama Kylie Jenner and her latest mega mansion purchase because he just spoiled himself with his own and the police is crazy. In recent news, the rapper reportedly dropped over 23 million in cash on a futuristic mansion in Brentwood that resembles a yacht. Although he seems to still be living in the Beverly Hills house he bought with Kylie a few years back, he should be moving into his new luxury dig soon and we even found the listing. Travis Scott is a rapper, singer, songwriter and record producer who's accomplished a lot in his career in a few short years. Of course, he's also a dad to his daughter Stormy and his often on and off again relationship with her mom Kylie Jenner is always the center of public attention. Lately, the rapper has been making headlines for another reason though. He just dropped a crazy amount of millions in cash in the eight figure ballpark if you're wondering on a new ultra modern property in Los Angeles. Though he famously references the exclusive community of Hidden Hills on his song Butterfly Effect, it seems the Houston born Travis would rather live in the Brentwood neighborhood surrounded by celeb neighbors like Dr. Dre and LeBron James. Despite the fact that Travis has spent plenty of time with Kylie and Stormy during the global quarantine, even visiting Kris Jenner's family home in Palm Springs with them, he clearly wanted to get a fresh start with his new location. As we know, Kylie's latest mansion is in the Holmby Hills area, but they'll only be a 15 minute drive apart, making it easy for co-parenting. Sources report Travis's current net worth is at about $58 million, but considering he grossed over $53 million on his 2019 Astro World Tour alone and paid for his new mansion in cash, I feel like that number has got to be higher. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We already did one on Travis Scott, but considering he just bought a crazy new mansion, it was time for an update. We'll be taking a look at the rapper's new yacht-inspired estate and his other homes. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Young Thug and LeBron James, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. I'm thinking we should do ditties, but for now, let's get into this video. You've probably heard before this video that Travis decided to treat himself to a mammoth sized mansion in the Brentwood area of LA. Brentwood is a quiet, upscale neighborhood on the west side with homes high up in the hills. He'll soon live next door to the likes of LeBron James and other celebrities. Congratulations on that. Thank you. For me, personally, and I think for a lot of your fans and, and people outside of that, we wanted to kind of know like, what type of zone was you in when you made that project? Word is that Travis paid the $23.5 million price tag for this home in straight cash. That's how you know the astronomical rapper is rich. That number is said to be a bargain considering the mansion was first offered at 42 mil before undergoing two large price chops. When Travis made the buy, it's still one of the bigger purchases in LA's luxury real estate market. Travis's new colossal hilltop house was designed and built on spec by father and daughter team DeLorean and Associates just last year and could double as the Getty Center Museum. The home spans a massive 16,700 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 11 baths over 3 full floors of ultra modern house. Although the mansion looks like it's just clinging to the edge of a cliff, it still offers an acre of property and a generous outdoor space. Unlike most contemporary mansions, Travis's spot has some pretty unique architecture. The home is wrapped in a smooth sheet metal that was meant to mimic the lines of a modern yacht according to the listing. Either way, his mansion looks and feels more like a resort. Walking in the structure's glass front door, you'll see a floor to ceiling walnut sculpture designed by a master Japanese carpenter, and across from it there's a 12 foot green wall which acts as a natural air purifier. Not only is the entryway spacious offering high ceilings, it then connects to the completely open main level of Travis's new home. Here there's an open plan living space made up of a single great room which is huge and has a full bar, fireplace and multiple seating and dining areas. If you don't want to hang out in the open area of the home, there's also a more cozy family room to relax in. On one side of the sprawling common space, there's an attached custom kitchen made of luxury black marble and top of the line designer appliances. There's seating for more casual meals here and a larger table to dine at just steps away. The room here has walls of glass that open fully to the patio area, giving his mansion a total indoor-outdoor vibe. Of course, with the panoramic views of Los Angeles that the property offers, you have to take advantage, which is why there are also balconies and terraces on all levels. The lower level of Travis's new home is devoted to recreation and entertainment. The mansion has everything like a full-size home gym, a sauna, a 15-seat movie theater, and more. 
Not to mention there's an expansive wet bar area, perfect for hosting guests, and a temperature controlled wine cellar that holds 650 bottles. Not to mention, tucked right under the outdoor swimming pool, you'll find the games room fitted with a designer ping pong table. Upstairs, the penthouse floor of Travis's home includes two junior master suites, and I'm sure one is reserved for his daughter Stormy Webster, of course. There are more full walls of floor to ceiling glass on this level, and the impressive master suite has dual closets, a spa cell marble bath, and balcony with views of the entire city. In fact, Travis's master bedroom is so large it has its own sitting and living area and what looks like a full hallway. Outside the mansion, the luxury amenities keep coming, with a large entertaining area and patio, including full outdoor kitchen and alfresco dining decks. Then there's the hard to miss 75 foot infinity pool that looks as if it's overhanging the cliff, which has its own underwater sound system and there's a poolside cabana too. For more relaxing activities, there's also a jacuzzi, tranquil 400 square foot zen garden, and a stunning waterfall designed by Mario Romano. Travis's mega estate sits at the end of a remote street and is completely invisible from the road. Although the home is hard to hide, it's set below street level with the neighboring homes, with the driveway sloping steeply down the mansion's roof likely a different design than you'd usually see. The driveway itself has parking for a dozen or more cars and from there, further down, there's an additional 20 car garage, also dubbed an auto gallery. This will no doubt come in handy for Travis, who's an avid luxury car collector. He got a new sleek black Bugatti for his 29th birthday, which likely cost around seven figures and owns plenty more. Some of his wheels include a Ferrari 488, a unique burnt orange color, which is one of his faves, and a custom matte brown Lamborghini Aventador SV with white rims. He also has another custom Lambo, a Huracan that's wrapped in bright purple camo. I'm sure with his new mansion's auto gallery, Travis will have an excuse to add more cars to the collection. Of course, the rapper still has a $13.5 million mansion elsewhere in LA that he co-owns with Kylie, which is where he's been reportedly living until he's moving ready for the new place. This home may be on the market soon, or he'll keep both. This mansion is in the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood of Los Angeles, a community that values seclusion and upscale living, of course, full of celebrity residents. In 2018, Travis and Kylie allegedly split the cost on this clean and classy home in the hills. Travis's home is surrounded by a ton of greenery and trees which gives a sense of security and shields the home from paparazzi. The mansion sits on a 1.1 acre plot of land and spans over 9,600 square feet of living space inside. Built in the 1970s, the property was once owned by actress Louise Curry and received an extensive renovation a few years ago. This made the home fully updated and more contemporary. This home offers 7 beds, 10 baths, and a handful of perfectly decorated open concept living areas. A two-story entryway opens up to an indoor-outdoor living and dining area complete with European oak floors, modern fixtures, and a fireplace. On the main level of the home, there's also a family room, formal dining room, and a chef's kitchen with an oversized center island and state-of-the-art appliances. Travis has an oversized master suite here spanning 2,300 square feet, which is bigger than the average home. It has an elegant and spacious ensuite bathroom, massive walk-in closet, its own sitting room, office, and storage space. Not to mention the room opens up to an extensive private balcony with city and ocean views. Other features of his Beverly Hills home include a home movie theater, gym, library, wine room, and extra den. There's also three car garage and additional parking space. Outside there's a large pool and spa that covers most of the space as well as patios and terraces for lounging and entertaining guests. Other features include a garden, a separate guest house with kitchen, living room, and one bed and bath. So now we've taken a full look at where rapper Travis Scott calls home, well the yacht like mega mansion that he'll soon be moving into, as well as the current home he co-owns with Kylie in Beverly Hills. The new place is in Brentwood, but it's not far away at all, just in another posh neighborhood of LA. And I'm sure Travis is more than excited to move into the ultra-modern estate considering he already got it all paid for in cash. Let's not forget Travis also spreads that wealth with his loved ones. Long before he even thought about putting down $23.5 million on his new place, back in 2016, he made sure his family was covered first. The rapper gifted his family a mega mansion in his hometown of Houston, Texas for Christmas and they absolutely loved it. Anyways, after looking at Travis's homes, which did you prefer? I mean, his new modern mansion seriously has everything from open wall spaces on every level, crazy views of LA, a 20 car auto gallery, and much more. What did you guys like best about it? I think my favorite feature of his new place has got to be the massive infinity pool. Be sure to let me know in those comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't and you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!